good evening friends uh, welcome to go digit so in this video i am going to share that how we can download the latest offering from microsoft regarding the navision software or should we call the new name like dynamics 365 business central wave 2 yes uh, this is the new naming convention given by the microsoft for their latest offering and they released this uh, on 2nd of october uh, so what you need to do is first that you should uh, go to the partner source microsoft website and from there you can uh, visit this page and when you visited this page uh, you will find uh, the product uh, version of uh, different countries so whatever whichever uh, version you would like to download just select that so just to show you i am going to download this download w1 version you j just click on it and you see system will start uh, downloading that uh, software for you so because i have already downloaded that software so let me cancel it uh, i'll share that uh, uh, link of that uh, download uh, from where you can download the new version of this 365 business central in the description section you can check that uh, so meanwhile after downloading this uh, new version just uh, we will install this so first we will go to the download section and this is uh, the folder where we have all the set of files for this new version so the installation is very much quite same just like previous version there is a only a small tweak uh, in this uh, which i will show you so let me double click it and as you can see now this is the new icon uh, of the 365 business central click yes next i accept just click on the advanced installation options and do not click on install demo we will select this choose an installation option so when you click this uh, because i am a developer so i'll select that developer uh, based on your uh, requirement if you would like to install only client version you can select that or if you are installing on the server machine you can select that uh, right now i'll select the developer option and click on customize so see uh, the change which we all are talking about and the internet is full of uh, the articles regarding what is the actual change which happened in this new version is that my, now microsoft have has removed the traditional ide of the navision which is c side there is nowhere mentioned the c side development environment and along with that you will not find uh the windows rtc client for this uh, new business central setup so the only thing is that we have the al development environment with us the server administration tool the server sql server database components and this is web server components which is actually now in from this version onwards we have only the web client and we are not having any Uh, windows rtc client or the c side development environment for any sort of development we will use the al development environment and the web client okay so not to change anything uh, if you would like to add in the microsoft outlook you can select that uh, i am not selecting it because my in my system i don't have the microsoft outlook license with me so just click on next so here you have to mention your server computer name on which you are installing uh, because i'm uh, this is my own simple, own machine so i'll remain this uh, local host i'll go with this local host only uh, the instance name is bc150 and uh, because uh, uh, in my machine i already have the navision 2018 installed and that is that software is running on these ports so let me change uh, the port number Eight zero four 
okay so there is no need to change any other thing apart from this so just click on apply and it is showing me that the SQL Server instance blank already has a database named uh, demo database 15.0 this is uh, because I have already in checked and installed first before making this video so that's why it is saying so so because I don't have I have not done any yet transaction it's a testing database so I'll replace it and click on OK okay so I'll select this replace existing database as yes and go with apply and now it has started installing the new version and see it is only installing the web client because as I mentioned earlier in my video that there is no RTC available so it will install uh, the web client part only so we just have to wait for 5 to 10 minutes by by the time it will get installed
uh, <coughs> I think it has it is showing me some error let me click on it so it is not showing me any such error it is showing me that the computer must be restarted to complete the installation so let me click on close and let's see what are the programs it has installed so it has installed the business and central administration shell so we know uh, this is this is a command based tool through which uh, we can uh, run the powershell commands and do uh, the some administration ty types of work with this window apart from this it, it has installed the business central administration uh, so here it is it will show the instances running uh, uh, of or the navision software uh, of all the versions which you have installed already in your system so right now it is in the processing mode so see uh, i have because as i mentioned that i have installed uh, in this system it is uh, there are two uh, versions installed first is the navision 18 and now second one is this business central wave 2 okay so both are the instances running fine so this is the administration window and now the main part is our business central web client and you will not find the windows rtc anywhere and uh, this is the dynamics nav 18 windows rtc and this rtc is already obsoleted now in this new version so just click on the business central web client and see this is the web client address called localhost 8080 this is the port and this is my instance and now it will run the web client part This is the first time running uh, in this system. The web client, that's why it is taking time. So this is the biggest change uh, in this new version that we are, because uh, we are more used to of working in the Windows RTC and now we don't have that version. And we are, we have to work with the web client part only. But Web client is very smooth in this version and so many new features are already added in this version. You see, this is the new interface of this business central wave 2. So, uh, this is the part 1 of this video and we will, uh, in this video we have covered the, how we can download this new version and how we can install this new version. In the second part of the video, I will show you some of the features introduced in this new version of this uh, business central and this in this new client web client okay so thank you for watching this video if you really like this video please click the like button and please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you